Top story at 530. Final preparations are being made for New Year's celebrations this weekend in San Francisco. And as NBC Bay Area Sergio Quintana tells us this year, it does include a warning from the city about where not to watch the fireworks display. Along portions of San Francisco's Embarcadero, signs are already posted warning drivers about New Year's Eve parking restrictions. The fireworks will be launched at midnight near the ferry building, so parking will not be allowed along the Embarcadero from Washington to Howard Streets. That will also likely be the best stretch to catch the fireworks show. The San Francisco Fire Department also put out an advisory reminding people that launching privately owned fireworks in the city is illegal. For people looking for something a little different to do on New Year's, Circus Bella is set up just a few blocks away from the Embarcadero at Howard and Main Streets. The small company of jugglers, acrobats and musicians have been set up at the former Trans Bay Terminal and will have three shows this Sunday, two of which are scheduled to end just in time to ring in the New Year. We have a 7.30 show that will coincide with East Coast New Year's Eve and we're timing the show just to end with a countdown and then here we'll have a, our third show will be at 10.30 to coincide with West Coast. This year, the San Francisco Police Department is also urging people not to head to Treasure Island to see the fireworks. Treasure Island does give one of the best vantage points of downtown San Francisco, but it's actually not very easy to get to this point right now because of a lot of the shoreline facing the city is closed down because of construction. The area around the ferry port on Treasure Island Road is fenced off, and because of a few major residential construction projects, access to Avenue of the Palms is blocked off. I talked with one woman who used to live on the island and had a tough time getting around. It's difficult. It's difficult, and it's hard to find um, even this coastline or this shoreline. It was hard to find. I've been driving around for 10 minutes, I think. A tourist who didn't want to use his name and who just hopped off the small ferry from San Francisco immediately noticed how much construction was happening. If you travel by car or, yeah, it's probably not that, that easy. And I guess there isn't that much parking in this uh, island available. Right now, weather forecasts for Sunday night are predicting clear skies, which means the fireworks should be seen from just about any high point in the city and even from the East Bay and portions of Marin. In San Francisco, Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News. Thank you.